Hey everybody, it's your man Fit Man, and welcome to the third episode of Motivational Monday. Today's topic, why aren't you sprinting as a part of your training regimen? Good people, listen to me. The most popular goal for most trainees in the fitness game is to drop body fat, to burn that nasty, unwanted body fat. The problem is, is that most of the methodologies that trainees use are ineffective or inefficient at best. Why not use a more effective method to get to where you want to get to? And that's where sprints come in versus performing traditional cardio. Let's talk about the benefits of running sprints. Number one, time. Most folks lead busy lives. You've got kids, you've got a job, you've got time demands. Why do you really wanna spend two, three hours on an elliptical going nowhere fast when you can come hit the track, get warmed up and perform a sprint workout in 20 minutes or less? Think about what I just said. You come out to the track, you run a couple hundreds, you run a couple two hundreds, and your day is over. You became more fit, you built mental toughness, you got leaner, and you went home. You didn't spend two, three hours going nowhere fast while a machine tells you, hey, you burned 200 calories. whoop de doo Time, folks, use your time wisely. Sprints allow you to get more done in a fraction of the time that it takes as far as traditional cardio is concerned. Number two, sprints allow you to build and retain muscle and drop body fat at the same time. So again, when you're performing traditional cardio, at some point, one hour, two hour, three hours in, you're starting to sacrifice muscle mass. With sprints, you're not sacrificing, you're actually building more muscle. Look at the legs of sprinters. Look at the bulging hamstrings and the glutes. The glutes are high and tight like a military fade haircut, like they got cut in the army. You feel me? That's how the glutes look, they're high and tight. So this is what the sprints allow you to do. You're building the muscle mass while you're training versus losing it because you're not spending an hour or two running the sprints. It comes back to the time, you're out there 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you're in and you're out. Your legs will change dramatically. So sprints also allow us, to, allow us to build the muscle mass and drop the body fat at the same time. Number three, the third benefit of running sprints, and this may be the most important benefit, you're building mental toughness. Look, I have done many weightlifting workouts, high volume, low volume, low rest, whatever you wanna call it. If you took the hardest weight training workout I've done, I would take, I would take that workout over most sprint workouts. Why? Because the sprint workouts really make you feel like you want to die. When you're running repeat 300s, you don't want to be there. When you're running 3-2-1-1, you don't want to be there. Your heart is thumping. Your hamstrings and glutes are, are pumped out of control, pumped more than you know any training exercise can do. This is what sprints make you feel like. But if you're able to to do sprints consistently and keep coming back, you are going to build, you know, unbreakable will. You are gonna feel like you can do anything because sprints require that kind of will. I have trained with many training partners over the years. A lot of guys who came out and ran sprints with me, they were one and done. One and done, why? Because they didn't have the mental toughness. That's what sprints build. So the three benefits, we're getting more done in less time. Time is number one. Number two, we're building muscle and dropping fat at the same time. We're not losing muscle mass, okay? And number three, we're building extreme mental toughness. This is what sprints can do for you if you are injured, if you've got bad knees, if you've got bad ankles, if you've got bad feet, I would advise that you heal and get healthy before you begin to sprint. You can't just come out and be Usain Bolt. I've got a great guide on my website, the, the, the lifter's guide to sprinting that will show you how to get warm for sprints so that you don't hurt yourself, all right? But get healthy and get into the sprints. This is Motivational Monday, episode three. I thank you for watching and I hope 
that you can take the knowledge from this video, apply it, and begin to sprint and truly begin to unleash the inner greatness that lies inside of you, all right? It's your man, Fit Man. Holla at a trainer when you see me in the gym.